I'm Sally Horchow, and this is Very Good Looking, where you can find taste every day. Here in our bar, I like to serve a signature cocktail to my guests. And this spring, when I was in Rome, I learned about my new favorite one. I was staying at the Hotel de Russi, a very good looking hotel near the Spanish Steps, when I met the chief bartender, Massimo Dezio, who really sets the trends for cocktails in Italy. Massimo introduced me to my first Aperol Spritz, and I was hooked. So as soon as I got home, I went to the closest thing to Rome in Los Angeles, the newly renovated Osteria La Buca, where I learned to make it myself. So where in Italy are you from, Matt? Actually a little bit further than Italy, Houston, Texas. Oh, I'm close. from Dallas. Beautiful. Oh my Beautiful. God, I that. love it. We're very close to Italy, aren't we? Absolutely. But that doesn't mean you don't know how to make an Aperol Spritz, right? Right you are. This is my favorite new cocktail. Beautiful. Show me how to do it. Okay. Cool. okay. We'll get started. We got our three main ingredients here. We got our Aperol, our Prosecco, and our soda water. We're gonna start with an ounce and a half of Aperol. Okay, ounce and a half. I'll have to figure that out in my own jigger at home. Okay, so how much Prosecco to Aperol? So we're looking at two ounces of Prosecco and an ounce and a half of Aperol. So just a, so little, just a little bit more. Absolutely, okay. just a little bit more. Got it. And this time I'm not going to use the jigger because it's a carbonated wine, so I don't want to spill over the jigger, so I'm just going to kind of free pour. Okay. It. And we're going to go almost to the brim. Free pour. Free pour. Last but not least, a little soda water on top. Just, just a splash. Fill it. Okay. Excellent. Now this would be so cool just to get it this way, but you have to mix it up, don't you? Right, we're gonna give it a little stir with our bar spoon here, just to get everything working together. All right. And we can just kind of drag it up. Here. Let me try. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, so then you make the orange part come up. Okay, let me do yours. Well, you've done this before, huh? <laughs> we're gonna take a nice big orange, and we're gonna do a little curly cue, a little pigtail, whatever you wanna call it. Is that it. what it's called? Get... Okay, and I, you can also just use a slice of orange, right? You can. That's how I drink it there. We're gonna do a little, little pigtail. Okay. Cute. Yay! I'm so into these. These are so delicious. Grazie. Grazie. So he may not be Massimo, but Matt did recreate that delectable Aperol spritz for me. And as you can see by the nearly empty bottle here, I've been serving it as my signature cocktail ever since. Zeroing in on a favorite cocktail that you like to serve makes entertaining so much easier. Just serve that with beer, wine, and water and be done with it. Oh, and hey, tell me how it goes. Go to the VGLTU tab at VeryGoodLooking.com and tell me about your favorite signature cocktail. Mine, for now, is the Aperol Spritz because that is very good looking.